to Rev Your Engines. My next guests are former contestants on Canada's Drag Race and the co-hosts of the podcast, Semi-Qualified Queens. Please put your hands together for Juicebox and Cynthia Kiss. Hello. Oh my gosh, first off, we were talking backstage, we kind of all match. Little bit. Yes. I we like the transition. It. It's like yellow, pink, pink, yellow. Oh my it's gosh, perfect. Good. We're yeah. like, a, like a sandwich. It's very, very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I am so, so excited that you're here. Juice, you were on season one yes. of Drag Race. Yeah, yeah. And Cynthia, you were on season two. Season two. Okay, so how did you start Semi-Qualified Queens? You have your podcast. Mm -hmm. How did you guys come together? We had friends, mutual friends, yeah. and they said that they remind, we reminded them, of, like they saw each other in us. Okay. Yeah. And so then when we had a gig together, I think, was it your idea or was it my it idea? Was, <laughs> no, it was our manager. We have this manager, Tommy D, yeah. with uh, TFT Presents, and he yeah. goes to us and he was just like, you two need to make a podcast because you sound exactly alike, you <laughs> act exactly alike, yeah. you just need to do it. So then when we yeah. met, we had a gig in Calgary, mm -hmm. and then we were just like, let's just do it. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. That's and then we amazing. did it. Honestly, it's so good. I love how things come together. Right. And you can just meet somebody new and like and again form this bond and form this totally. relationship and get to talk about a shared experience yes. mm -hmm. on, on the podcast. A hundred yeah. episodes oh. and a Canadian podcast award later. No big yes. deal. Absolutely huge. Crazy, it just might work. Yeah. <laughs> so with semi-qualified queens, so do you have any like most memorable moments for for either of you um, with the podcast in general? I think it might be the amount of guests that we've got to chat with. We yeah. get to we we like to talk about all things drag. You yeah. Know, that's like our motto, all things drag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we get to pick the brains of a lot of like really incredible entertainers. We've had people like Priyanka from my season who won. Yeah. We've had people like Ella Vade. We've oh. had. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, We've Brooklyn, had judges as well. You know? Brooklyn, oh, amazing. Brooklyn, Brad Goreski, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. high school crush of mine. Oh, oh no, God. big deal. So oh, no. to have oh, him on God. the podcast, I was like. <laughs> and he wasn't on my season, so when he came on, I was like, oh, morning, Bradley. Yeah. Like, I was very, very flustered. <laughs> yeah. he, he took the call from his guest house in LA. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It must be yeah. nice, am I right? I know, I was like, no big deal. I yeah. did it from my guest house. Too. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. In, All of our guest yeah. <laughs> Now, you have both taken this podcast on the road, correct? With your tour. Yes. That's Absolutely amazing. Um, so tell us a little bit what it's like taking a podcast from from recording to actually like on stage. This energy, you can feel it, right? Yeah. Live audiences. Yes. Mm -hmm. The instant applause, the laughter. Yeah. It's just, it hits different than recording. You know, we're coast to coast, so we're doing it over webcam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that, that can just feel different. So yeah. the instant response from an audience, yeah. oh, isn't it the best? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And we really wanted to take something that we have and kind of tried to do something good with it. Yeah. So we get to showcase local talent and have these incredible guests who aren't drag race girls mm -hmm. or entertainers who are like judges and stuff. They're people who are working within local communities yeah. and we're putting our drag race spotlight onto them yeah. and interviewing them in our show. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. I know I've, I've heard you both talk about how you want to help create more queer safe spaces because yeah. there's not enough. So many have closed recently because of the pandemic and rent and mm -hmm. so many different things. So you want yeah. to, even if it's just for a night, yes. Create this space where people can come and share in the in the art and the celebration. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank that's you. amazing. We are good people. You are we such are. good people. <laughs> hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.